automatic mission to me quietly and without quoting me. Yes, sir. This is between you and me and you and God. Yes, sir. I have had Dirksen down about three times in the last three or four days. And I have the highest people in the government in uh, uh, talking to him. And we have some, uh, really some reservations being planned, not reservations to the treaty, but assurances we're giving him yes. that we cannot discuss with anybody else. And uh, uh, he, is, he is trying to help if he can. I don't know whether we can get him off the limb or not, but I know if anybody can, I can. Hubert's talking about it, and he expressed himself today as saying that he thinks that uh, Dirksen will ultimately come around, and anything we say publicly is going to make it that much more difficult for him to do it. So I think if you just say to Hubert that you happen to know that there's some discussions taking place over the, over the highball glass late in the evening that are very delicate, and that... Uh, not to give any indication that he knows that Dirksen's going to do something one way or the other right at this stage without telling him I ask you to. Just I don't want to hurt his feelings because a, a vice president uh, has enough problems and frustrations anyway. And and uh, at the same time, I don't want him to run Dirksen off. He's got a damn big fool interview today, uh, unconsciously, you know. And Jack Bell's played it up big and says that Humphrey predicts that Dirksen will come around. Now, that just makes it that much more difficult to get him away from the Liberty Lobby. Yes, and you see, Humphrey will just incite every Lithuanian and everyone that's giving him hell from Chicago, you know what I mean? Yes, so just ask him to just be very, very careful, and he might explain to Dirksen that he didn't mean it or didn't say it or something else, whatever it is. It's too delicate right now. All right. Thank you, my friend. Right.